tell us how it played out yesterday. Well, thank you very much. And uh, of course, the, uh, the viewership. Um, uh, yes, the, yesterday we have um, uh, started the service uh, between Cape Town and Langa as a phase one of the reintroduction or resumption of the metro rail services. Um, it, it went well. Obviously, it was the first day uh, yesterday. Uh, and gradually, uh, we, we know that the number will increase because the people get to know that, uh, of course, they also want to see a guarantee that uh, the, the service is there. So yesterday it went well. Uh, it wasn't. There was no incident. There wasn't any uh, glitches. Um, uh, in order, that service has not been running since the first of November, twenty nineteen, uh, to yesterday. And, and so, I, I gather uh, that a lot of the commuters have spent more than forty percent of their income on alternate support. So what is it that you can guarantee them? I mean, how far does it take them? What sort of, you know, um, space time frame are we looking at here? And how do you also promise uh, their security and safety? Well, yes. Um, well, of course, that's a fact that uh, uh, they all tell us that uh, they say they spend a lot of money. Obviously, they work for public transport now because they don't have money after they have uh, spent on public transport as a result of uh, the fares that are quite expensive. So more than 40% uh, versus uh, between 7 and 10% they used to spend and they have gone, has gone with, the, with, the, with the public transport uh, for them to get from A to B. Uh, that has always been our concern and of course we have uh, made a commitment that uh, our job is to make sure that the trains are running and that's what we are trying to do and we'll always try and do that every day. Um, the phase, phase, phase one, as you know, that uh, the rail line was cleaned out uh, in terms of every wire was taken away. Uh, for, so the restoration of that has happened for between Cape Town and Langa. Now we've got a that's a phase, 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 phase one, and now we have it, the most difficult phase two that we will now have to start working on, which is from Langa uh, to uh, Mitchell's Plain on the one on one direction, and then uh, Kailicha on another direction. That portion of of line is, uh, as you know, is occupied. It's uh, occupied um, by by people illegal squatting on it. And therefore, the work of uh, clearing the illegal squatting uh, is the one that has to happen. Um, okay, let's talk about that soon. a little bit further. Uh, you've given them 10 days' notice to forget, vacate the tracks of the Cape Town Central Line. I mean, when we spoke to some of them some days ago, they were saying that they were promised alternate accommodation. How is it going to play out? Where are they expected to go? And what happens if they don't move? Well, that's, a, that's a, when we engage with them, even when we distributed a notice, they said we're willing to move. We can see uh, we are on the, on the rail, so we're willing to move. Prasa must give us a land. We said we don't have, uh, we don't have competency in, on land issue. We don't distribute land. It's not part of us. So we have to ask the city of Cape Town and the provincial government uh, to make land available for, for you. Uh, we have engaged uh, the city of Cape Town, we have engaged uh, the provincial government. They are working on the, on the, on the uh, alternative uh, land where they must be uh, relocated to as an alternative uh, site. So that process um, is, uh, is happening. Um, we hope that uh, very soon that will happen so that we can uh, get um, the people off the rail to the alternative site. Uh, that's, that's a city. And that's the case. That's the city and the province that will do that. They have promised us that they're working hard on that to make sure that people are there's alternative land mm. uh, available. Okay. So they've every, got ten they, days they, to they, get that, that right, haven't they? Thank you very much yeah. for talking to us, Leonard Amatlani. Thank you very much. Thank you.